Alright guys, we are out here. Bright early, cloudy, but we here baby. Check out this French toast heaven. I ain't been asking people, people asking me to do it. So it's time to get to it. Yes sir. Three, three, two, two. get the French toast flight, which is you can get four of these selected French toast specialty items for your entree. Now I got the Fruity Pebbles, the Banana Foster, the Peach Cobbler, and of course the basic to give the best technology of what's good and what's not. So let's get into it. Now guys, I'm excited about this. I've been hearing about French toast heaven, you know, been hearing all kinds of different opinions about it. So I said, we got this thing out. Put that syrup on top, pour that other thing over so gently, yes sir. Looking nice, whipped cream on top, my food is on point, it's about to go down. First thing I'm trying is their normal fresh toast, all right? I take a bite of it. Guys, here's the thing I have with fresh toast heaven. Now fresh toast heaven, I like the atmosphere, the customer service is great, right? The fresh toast looks good. The bread itself is a delicious bread, right? It's a nice texture on the bread. The bread is nice, fluffy. Um, it's a really nice, it tastes like a really nice taste toast, nice fresh toast bread. Like it really tastes like fresh quality. The only problem is it wasn't as sweet as I wanted it to be. It tastes like a basic French toast. And when you're spending, you know, this entree costs $17. You see what I'm saying? Like if you go get French toast to a place like Stevie B, somewhere like that, like right down the street, or which they only have pancakes, you're spending eight dollars for a ten dollars for a two or three stack, which is a large amount of food compared to spending seventeen dollars. Okay, on a scale of one to five for your bait for your French toast, I'm gonna have to give it three all day. Three all day. You're not missing out, but it's not like oh my god, you gotta go there. It just tastes like a basic French toast. Let's move on. For the next one, I got the peach cobbler. French toast. You know, I'm a down south H town. So, you know, peach cobbler is about to go down. Guys, I tasted it. Here's the problem. I just keep running to little, little, little things. Like, they're missing the bar to me. So, I think it would have made the peach cobbler great if it would have some kind of crumble on there. Kind of make it stand out. If it would have been also, if the peaches would have been also a little bit more um, cooked, they were kind of al dente. So, the texture kind of didn't really go well to me with the Texas toast. The flavor was okay. It could have been a little more sweeter. It wasn't as sweet. It tastes like somebody got some peaches, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of nutmeg, a little bit of allspice, maybe a hint of butter, and kind of saute a little bit and put it on top of the French, the Texas toast. Or, or, yeah, the French toast, I'm sorry. Because of that, I'm gonna have to get this one as well, a three on the money. It's not bad, it's just not. It's a three. I'm sorry. I gotta be real. And I want them to do good. Cause you know it's an upcoming restaurant and I'm rooting for them. But guys, I gotta keep them 100. You know, it's the sage, baby. We gotta keep them 100 around here. Yes, sir. Three all day. Let's go to the next one. Now, guys, for this one, shoot. They did something right. Yeah, I so said they did something right. Here we go. French Toast Heaven, they did something right. Now listen, the reason why this was good, first of all, I like Fruity Pebbles. I mean, fruit stuff like Fruity Pebbles, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, stuff like that, strawberry, cheesecake, that was cool, it's gonna be really delicious on, a, on, on French Toast. This was great because the French Toast itself is not really that sweet. So you putting the Fruity Pebbles on there, which is really sweet, with a little bit of that syrup action, and then you hit it with the, and the, and the fruit was, wasn't, it wasn't, you know, soggy, stuff, and that's a little crisp on there. It gave, it tastes like an icing, like a nice crumble icing. Imagine eating, like, you know when you eat, like, the crumble, like a, like I said, apple pie crumble, that crumble on top, give it that nice little texture. With the sweetness, bingo. That's what the Fruity Pebbles did for that French toast. The Fruity Pebbles, look here, if you go there, you want to get French toast, I'm going to say, you get, you go with that Fruity Pebble, you won't miss. On a scale of one of five, four all day. I ain't going to hold you I am gonna hold you. French toast heaven, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Right here, 
here I have the Banana Foster Fresh Toast. Now I just knew this was gonna be good. Cause you know, Banana Foster slap. Guys, this tastes more like, this tastes more like somebody got some bananas, hit it with a little bit of cinnamon, some butter, you know, and just kind of put it around top of it. I'm, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm let down. Banana Foster, it's supposed to be a nice, you know, put your, put your bananas in there, nicely biased cut, saute, you know, add your little rum sauce, have, have, what, kind of, what kind of liquor you want to use, you know, add your butter, add your, add your, add your nice cinnamon, sugar, however you want to go about it. I ain't going to tell you, people can do it all certain ways, that's your basics of it. Do you put that right on top of it? Guys, we missed in the bar because when you're spending 17, listen, the value of what you have this for, but the execution is what's causing the problem. I'm sorry, this ain't French Toast Heaven. I, I'm, I'm being real with you. This French Toast Crossroads, yeah, I said it. French Toast Crossroads, mm -mm. ain't no heaven, it's Crossroads. I see you on the crossroads, so you won't be lonely. I'm gonna tell everybody, I'm gonna tell everybody. Oh, this is right here. No, this is right here. I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna tell you why. Cause you're not in heaven just yet. But you're not in hell either. You are almost there. You know your part. You know your part when you watching. When you in there watching the uh uh the, the crossroads. You know what I'm saying. Uh, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Don't play. Back in the day. You know what I'm saying. And you in that. You remember in the crossroads when they was in the line. They wasn't quite in heaven just yet. You ain't even made it to the angel with the book of life to tell, see if your name enough. You know what I'm saying. You ain't in there yet. You in the line though. You not in hell. You not in heaven. That's what I feel like about this. I, listen. It's $17, baby. You got to come with it. I don't mind the price. What I'm concerned about is the execution. God, we doing a banana foster? Y'all know I'm supposed to be that nice syrup on top. I'm supposed to hit that and say, bang. I need some more of this. Ah! Right, guys, the next thing we're going to get here, we got the jerk chicken and grits. Now, guys, it looks delicious, so I'm excited to get to it. Let me now hold it. So guys, doing the first bite of this, when I go into it, the first thing you get is you get that spice. It hit you right here. It hit you right here. I love that. Because jerk chicken is supposed to have a little hit to it. The jerk chicken is supposed to be just, you know, it's supposed to have a little hit. It's supposed to be just over the top. But I like the fact that it's spicy because that with the grits tastes delicious. I can't even lie to you. And the grits, it's not like that down soft grits that you like. You got the heavy cream, you know, the butter, you know, where it's really like that hearty grits. It's more of a broth grits, but it's not bad. It's not like a bad. It's not like it's not flavorful. The grits are flavorful. Just not as buttery, but it is flavorful. And I think they want the jerk chicken sauce that's coming from the actual chicken itself to be the one who creates that cream-based flavor. Both of the grits. I think that's the vision of this. And honestly, I like it. This is a delicious dish. Nice amount of kick. Nice amount of spice. Nice amount of texture. Everything tastes fresh. I can tell the chicken they're using has a more. A scale of one to five. For the jerk chicken and grits, it's a four on the plate. Four on the plate. Hey, fresh toast heaven. I ain't gonna play crossroads no more. <laughs> fresh toast heaven on this one. You did a good job. I like this. This is a good play. And we got to check out maybe next time. If y'all hit me up, let me know once the catfish and grits. I may go back and that out too because I want to give this place a really a good shot. I really want them to do well. I'm hoping for the best I'm pushing for. Them, I got to keep it 100. All right, guys. Let's go to the next thing. Thank y'all so much. I appreciate you all, man. I can't tell you something, man. I'm so happy we're going to the holidays. The Sage fam, we feel hey, we feel in the holidays. Like we got the I got, got the Christmas music playing in the background. I'm that dude. I'm that dude when it's November. I'm playing Christmas music. Go ahead, don't get mad at me. Yeah, I am. And that Jackson uh, 5 Christmas? Come on. That temptations? Don't, don't play with me. The whispers, huh? Mara Carey? Hey, don't play. Hey, listen, guys, but listen, we're going to have a lot of cool stuff coming up for you all. Hey, next week, 
we're gonna do letting the person order in front of you for 24 hours, me and the wifey. So make sure y'all stay tuned, man. I'm so excited, man. Hey, if y'all are here right now, please like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and tell a friend your boy Sage is back again. Hey, I wish y'all for an amazing week. And make sure you get y'all clocks right, because you know, you know, daylight saving time's happening today. So make sure y'all get yourselves ready, because you know it's time to get ready for that winter time. For the boys in Ohio, get you, get you, get your blankets, all right? And remember, whatever you're going through, it's a sage in you. Much love. I will see y'all soon. Peace.